RJ Mitty, thank you for joining us at the Rumor Fix Bar at Sundance. By all means, thank you all so much for having me. Absolutely. So, on Breaking Bad, yeah. you're in crutches, but in real life you're not. I, I am not. I, I do have cerebral palsy, though. I um, I was diagnosed at three with, um, with it, and, and it gave me... It's funny because a lot of people look at a disability as a... Uh, as a a burden or, or something that's just a, a weakness and I actually look at it as a strength because I I wouldn't be here without my disability so I'm, I'm lucky to have it and I'm lucky that I have Breaking Bad that gave me a career and uh, why are you at Sundance uh, I'm at I'm at Sundance for uh, for a panel I'm actually I, I'm lucky enough I've been I work with um, with SAG and after diversity division of SAG um, uh, of SAG, I just re, re uh, just constantly um, going. But um, I, I work with Shriners Hospital for Children as well, and quite a few other nonprofit organizations, and so on, a few boards. But the reason why I'm here is actually I'm doing a panel on uh, Sunday here uh, called uh, Hollywood's Greatest Role. And, and to me, that role is affecting change and affecting a mindset. And, and we have an amazing group of people that are on it. Um, Peter Fairley, um, Dumb and Dumber, Dumb and Dumber 2, uh, Something About Mary. Um, we have um, J.R. Martinez, uh, which is a, a, such dude, such a nice dude. Uh, we have uh, Lizzie Weiss, which is uh, creator, writer, Swish at Birth, which I had the pleasure of working with. And then um, we have Amy Purdy, which is a Paralympian medalist. I'm excited because it's important to affect change, and it's important to affect change not just to my age and your age. and, and to, to children because now more than ever we have access we have access like no other uh, generation and and, and and time and right now with everything that we have access to with social media with television and film and everyone's watching and this is the place to affect change if you want to affect change in what people see of television and I feel it's very important to affect that change because if you can change the mindset of someone that's that's an amazing that's an amazing accomplishment in a sense where most people go through life without having that effect on someone and, and when you see the results of actually see affecting someone for the better and changing the mindset of how people see uh, a disability of uh, uh, race religion whatever and the one thing about disability and that I like to tell people is disability is the only thing that does not discriminate it's the only thing in this world that does not discriminate. It doesn't care if you're African American. It doesn't care if you're part of the uh, LGBT community. It doesn't matter who you are or what you are. It will affect you and it affects your friends and your future. And if you can change the mindset of what people see in disability, you can change the mindset of how people react to all of that. And you can cross that and bridge that barrier that people have. And I think it's important, and the people that we have on the, this panel are, are definitely people that do have an impact. How do you feel about the Stephen Hawking film, Eddie Redmayne played someone with LA ALS and he doesn't have it? I, I feel that they could have cast someone with LAS. I, I feel that there, there could have been someone there, but the thing about it is it's an amazing opportunity for this actor. This actor got in his step in someone's shoes that not many people get to step in. Stephen Hawking is an amazing person and his impact and knowledge that he has been able to give, even with what afflicts, what afflicts him, he, he, it, it doesn't afflict him. He grows past that, he, that's, but that's what people need to see. And yes, I do believe that we need, we need more of, a, of an actuality of disability in film and television with actual people that have disabilities. But as an actor, that is our job to pretend and create these characters that are not ourselves. The best part about my job is not being me. <laughs> That's what I love. And yes, I, I don't always think hiring an able-bodied actor for a disabled role is, is proper, but I'm not one of those people that I want them to have that opportunity. I want them to see through these characters' eyes. I want them to live this character. The thing is, is when you have actors that go in and they think that they're that they don't need to practice, they don't need to do their research, they don't need to learn what that character is, and and that's what people I feel 
don't like and they get that confused because they see this able-bodied actor just going in and playing a character in a wheelchair and just messing around rolling around and no that's not the case it's how your legs lay it's how your upper body looks it's how you hold yourself it's how, it's it's what that character went through and lived with and so many different versions of that and I, I feel it's important that people have the opportunity but have it accurately so, so you are doing your first film as a non-disabled person I yes congratulations I, uh, thank you thank you I have a uh, a small part, but a very important part of a movie called Dixieland. Uh, Chris Zilka and Riley Kehoe um, are, are the leads, um, uh, and so amazing. I, I had fun. We filmed in uh, we filmed in down in Jackson, Mississippi. Actually, we were filming in Pearl, Mississippi. So, uh, so if you ever been to Mississippi, it's definitely something to see. And I was actually born in Jackson, but I uh, grew up in Louisiana. So they they plucked me right out of that place. But, uh, but it was really an amazing opportunity, and I play a, a manager of sorts of this strip club, and, uh, and I, I kind, of, kind of lead the lead character to his own demise. So. And you liked playing a non-cerebral palsy person. Yeah, well, I, I liked playing a character. Like, like I play characters you know, that don't have disabilities. I, I shot another movie this year called Who's Driving Doug, where I played a character with muscular dystrophy. And my character was in a wheelchair through the whole movie, and it gave me an opportunity to see actually how people, because people looked at me differently when I was in the chair versus when I would walk, and I tried to stay in the chair as much as possible. And people really treated me differently when I was in that chair, and they actually, it was, it was weird. And I, I've never seen, like, I, I've had people treat me weird sometimes with my disability but never like to the extent that I had when I was in the chair and I, I'm lucky that they, they asked me to do this part with a non-disabled character and I'm sure people are going to be like why does that character sound like that? I'm like that's what the character <laughs> sounds like. Leave me be man. <laughs> it's my voice. It's not yours. I love it. Okay what about Better Call Saul? Better Everyone Call Saul. is excited about it's it. It's going to be good. I, I don't know anything about it. I'm not a part of it. If if I if I was in it, I'm I'm gonna be like a baby. Yeah. I I'm not I'm not uh, I I'm not in it. But I actually I saw Odenkirk Bob Odenkirk today. Um, I was talking to him earlier today too, and uh, just such a wealth of knowledge. And and he he's an amazing performer, an amazing actor. He worked with David Cross for years. He's been on on he wrote for SNL. He did comedy. He's done movies. He's done everything you could possibly imagine. And, I'm so happy that he has this role, and like, it, it, it's him. It, it's him performing, and people will see a new side of Bob, and, and I, I love it. I think it's gonna be amazing. I'll be at the premiere um, next week, I think. I think it's next week. Um, I Don't ask me the date, don't ask me the time, don't ask me the month. I, it's, it's all just blur. But, uh, but it's, it's good. We're having fun. And Bob is tremendous. And I hope people enjoy what he, what he does and what he did for that show and what he's going to do with this one. So, Thanks for joining us at oh. the Rumor Fix Bar at yes. Sundance. By all means. Pleasure.